<laughs> Jeez. Ah. So, here's the tea. We did some shopping. A lot. And so, we filmed the haul. We haven't filmed the haul yet, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna film this haul for you guys. All we've done for these whole holidays is shopping. So, here's the haul for you guys. That's our intro. Now, here's the haul. Yay! The bracelet is stuck! <laughs> Got it. Okay, so. Yeah. If you guys follow Ali on Instagram, you would see that they have an outlet store here in Brisbane. Yeah. Um, so all of these items that we picked up are from Ali. Ali Fashion. This outlet store is located at Meadowbrook. Now the story behind this is that we went to go there and I thought it was at DFO. So we drove all the way to the DFO in Brisbane, which is near the airport. If you guys know where that is, um, it's like a very tough drive through all of that No, city. it's only tough for you because you're on your learners. Yes, but still, it is tough with the traffic and everything. Anyway, it didn't end up being at Brisbane. So, we drove all the way back to Meadowbrook, which is actually located at Logan. Which was half an hour away. Yes, which is where we found Alley Fashion Outlet Store. Now, we didn't really know what to expect when we went in there. We just saw it on Instagram. So they had a filler bag for $10, um, which we knew about from Instagram. This story is getting very complicated for a simple story. Anyway. Basically, we got lost, we found it, and we filled a bag of 10 items for $10, which is a bargain. This video is already up to 7 minutes and we haven't even started the haul. That's great. Okay, let's just get on into it. Some of these items are faulty as that's what was there. Faulty items were a dollar. Um, but because we got them because like uh, our mother can sew. So we know she can fix them. And for a dollar, who cares? So we've got 10 items each, I think. I've got I think eight. Oh, okay. And I've got the extra ones that made up for hers. Anyway. Let's get on into this haul, finally. Enjoy. Okay, so the first item I picked up was these denim shorts. They are a size 7 and they're actually a faulty pair. They have actually got the zip broken. It doesn't zip up. But I really like them. They're kind of just like baggy. I don't have any baggy denim shorts. So I picked them up for a dollar. My first item is this top here. It's kind of like a baby blush pink color with these frills on the top. You can either wear it up on your shoulders or over your shoulders like an off the shoulder shirt. I'll probably wear it up because it looks a bit funny off the shoulders. But yeah, that is one of my items. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to film a video. Come Say on. hello. Come on. And you're just barking. Is that the Pippa? She hates Chelsea. No. Stop barking, please. That's enough for the barking. Just lie there. So the second item I picked up is just this t-shirt and it says Rodeo, Colorado, Texas and Dallas. And it's actually longer with these... What do you call them? I got the same shirt and this is what it looks like before she cropped it. So it just had these tassels at the front and it was normal at the back. Yeah, so I cropped it and now it's just like a cropped t-shirt. And we can be twins. And I got this in a medium because I wanted well, it to Yeah, be. I didn't really look at sizes because oh, there was just whatever else there. This one's a small, but they're still pretty big. Yeah, um, so I got that in a medium and... I got that. Um, my next again. item is these pants, and these are actually a faulty, and I've got no idea why they're faulty. I still can't really find a fault with them. Um, they are that pattern, 
there I'm not gonna describe because I can't describe things the next item I picked up is this gray sweater with these um silver and white pearls on the shoulder they're not pearls though yeah they're not pearls just beads pearl beads and it is so big but I love that it's just comfortable even though it is a small so love that my next item I absolutely love um it's faulty my mom can fix it though she is like the doctor for clothes uh, and it's just this really long boho skirt with the border shell pattern buttons I had to think what they were called <laughs> wow um and the fault is that on the seam, on the side, um, it's just got a hole there so she can just sew that one up. But I love this. It's not too long. It is very, very beautiful with just a white shirt um, and I love it so, so much. The next item I picked up is just this cute little cropped bandeau, kind of. It's like a straps. bandeau but it's got straps. You'll see on the try portion. Um, I got the same as well. Okay, and I got that in a medium. I don't know why. What size is yours? What size is yours? Um, oh, it's a large. Mine's a large. So these are kind of like small sizes because I'm usually a small, but I got this in a medium. Yeah, this would usually be a medium for me. The only thing that my mum has to do is just take the straps up a bit, but it fits me across the chest. It's just the straps are a bit too big. It's, it's a straight top. And it just, you'll see in the trial portion with like a pair of jeans that it just sits well with high-waisted high pants. And I love the colours on it. It's just white and pink. And yeah, got that. And I got it too. My next item, I've wanted one of these shirts for like ages. And they, you can kind of get like a dress like it as well. I think it's called the baby doll dress. And I don't know if you would call this the baby doll shirt as well but it's so cute it's so my style it's got this elastic at the back which makes it easy to fit this is a size 8 and I would not usually go a size 8 I'd probably go a size 10 but because of the elastic it fits me uh, it's kind of cropped but um, goes well with a pair of high-waisted jeans it's got the frills on the bottom the only thing is that this strap is actually broken so they managed to like tie it around I don't know if you guys can see that um, but yeah, we'll just have to sew that one back on. Otherwise, apart from that, it is really, really beautiful and fits really, really well. And I love it so, so much. And it's just so my style. The next item I picked up is just this cute little, kind of like a sack jumpsuit. <laughs> potato sack? Yeah, it's kind of like a potato sack. And it's kind of like this rusty orange color. And they're not tortoiseshell, but you see the color. Yeah, they're kind of like that colour. We love this because you can pair it with any colour t-shirt. And I got this in a size 6. And I love the pockets at the front. Everything has to have pockets. My next item is just this simple tee. It's not a fault, guys. The dream is supposed to be upside down. It's kind of like on the side. It says dreamer, upside down. It's this yellow colour. Um, you guys have eyes. You can see it. It's cropped. Um... And I love it. It's very simple. Um, very nice to pair with anything. Any denim jacket, jeans. Um, yeah, I love it. Next item I picked up is this very big oversized shirt. It's probably not my size, but it's big and you can tie it into a knot. It says intuition of mine and it's got these kind of strands of thread that are just coming off the words. And I thought that was a cute little deep detail and I got this in a medium that's probably why it's so big but got that my next item I kind of got just to add up to the 10 items um I did like it but when I tried it on um I just wasn't a fan so as you guys can see here it is like long at the front and short at the back with these mesh frilly bits on the bottom and I'm just not a fan you know I'm a fan of the print um, and that's basically as far as it goes. So when I bring it home, yeah, I'm not a fan. Yeah, it's cute for like a home show. This is also a size extra small, which is actually pretty big for an yeah, extra small. Yeah, that would small. fit me. So next item, I picked up this really pretty white flowy dress 
and it's got the elastic at the back um so it fits you up the top and then it just flows out on the bottom and it's got these like ring details i really love it and it's got these kind of like cork type buttons and i thought they were a cute detail and it fits me perfectly and it is in a size six which is my size so we love that for summer this next item um i thought looked cute as well kind of like the last item i just showed you guys um it very simple yeah it is cute um it's like it's a very light thin material um kind of stretchy as well it's but i don't think shoe. it's meant to be stretchy um the only thing is that as you guys can see the straps are very long so it comes down very low so this isn't a faulty item um, but we might just have to bring the straps up a little bit um, otherwise than that it's got this really nice little blue flower pattern on it and it's very cute just with a pair of shorts or jeans this is my last and final item and it's actually probably my favorite because it is very simple and you can pair it with anything it is just this plain black tee and it it's probably meant to be tight fitting but it's not on me which i don't mind and it is actually it's not a turtleneck but it is a higher crew neck and on the sleeves it's kind of got this little ruffle and also on the top and the bottom and i just thought this would be cute for summer with a pair of shorts and maybe a denim jacket but yeah that's my last and final item oh and I got it in a size medium. I've got two more items to show you guys. This one is like absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, the only fault wrong with it is that there is just a button missing on the back to do it up. Other than that, it's... Oh, it actually comes with a replacement button. Even better. Um, so it is this jumpsuit with this like... It's like a lace kind of material. Um, it's got elastic in the waist to cinch in the frills on the bottom and on the ends of the sleeves. Um, the only thing is we might have to just put a button at the front. But I love this one so, so much. It's so cute and I'd love it for this coming summer with some nice boots or some cute little shoes and a little hat um, and a little brown bag. I can just picture pairing this with so many stuff. I just, I love this one so much. Like this is my favorite one. And my last one is just a pair of white jeans and they're cut in the knees this one was in the faulty rack and i don't know what the fault is with it the only thing is this stain there but when she went to like put them through the scanner some you know how some items of clothing have that like the tag on it that you can't take off they've got to take it off themselves otherwise if you take it off you'll like ink everywhere well, it had one of those on it and she was really, really struggling to get this tag off and she thought that that was the fault, that they couldn't sell it in the normal shops because they couldn't get this tag off. So she tried and tried and she did manage to get the tag off, which I'm like, I'm so happy with because um, then I managed to get these ones. Um, and this is the final item of my clothes that I got from the Alley Outlet. And that's the end of this haul. We hope you enjoyed it and yeah, go check it out if you're a Brisbane gal. Yeah, check out the Alley Outlet. Anyway, um, we hope you guys liked this video. Um, I'll link Chelsea's channel in the description box below. She doesn't post much. She hardly ever posts videos. Um, but just subscribe to her. I don't post anymore, but just subscribe to me yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this video. It's been a very different video. It's been pretty chill, chill. random. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribe down below. Just here. Just down. Turn your notification bell on. Ding ding. <laughs> and yeah, have yes. a good day. See you. Have a good night. Have a Whenever good week. You're watching this. Have a good month. We love you for sticking around to the end to this part. Okay. Anyway. Bye. See you. Pippa. Be quiet. Pippa. Pippa. Prison. Uh
I we we the it's <coughs> oh.